All right. Welcome. It is uh, 9.17 p.m. Central Time in Missouri, where I'm from. and um, My name is Jim, Jim of all trades, and uh, it's September 6, 2018. Glad, you glad you're joining me on this video. We're going to take a look at Litecoin and Bitcoin tonight, try to figure out where we're headed and see if we can make any trades uh, or protect our investment uh, as it seems that... Uh, Litecoin and Bitcoin have just taken a dive as well as every other coin along with Bitcoin. So what we want to do in this video is uh, talk about Bitcoin, what happened, what happened right here. Um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. We want to talk about that. We want to talk about our psychology through that. I want to talk about a mistake I made and, and being able to predict that was coming and uh, how we can learn from uh, learn from our mistakes and finally we just want to talk about okay, what are the general principles that we need to be having as we as we're trading uh, in a bear market and uh, and in a bull market where two general principles we want to talk about those as well so um, hang with me through that's kind of the outline for the video and uh, here we go well first of all let's just take a look at Bitcoin and see what we can figure out what we understand is that Bitcoin is the mother of all these um, cryptocurrencies so as we as personally I like to trade Litecoin and other people have other coins. I believe in Litecoin strongly, and I'm looking forward to Litecoin exploding sometime this year or next. But as we wait for that, we, what we want to do is try to multiply our coins. But we need to look at Bitcoin because Bitcoin is really the mother of all the currencies. There, what what Bitcoin does, all the other currencies do, or they're at least affected by it. And what I want you to notice, just as we just look at this pattern, is that you'll just notice these wedges that I've drawn here and all these. And what you'll find is that they're all upward facing wedges. And, and if you just Google that on upward facing wedges and chart patterns, what you're going to find is that it, that is a telltale sign for a downward move. The breakout of that wedge will be a downward move. And so here's a big upward wedge here, and, and there was a breakdown. There's an upward wedge right here. If we zoom in a little bit, we can take a peek at that guy. And uh, sure enough, uh, it, it broke down. It had a correction and came straight down. Here's another wedge, breakdown, wedge, breakdown. So uh, what you find is that uh, our this last move that Bitcoin made, we got this upward wedge, and uh, we really broke down. Now, I want to talk about this in just a moment, but before we get there, uh, you know, I guess I'm uh, ashamed of myself or bothered or frustrated that I, I, I didn't pay more attention to Bitcoin as uh, as I was charting the, the last couple of videos. If, if you take a peek there, I'm just kind of drawing another line there. Man, this was a tightening wedge. This wedge was just, uh, just Bitcoin was trading in this little volatile little space here. Man, there's nowhere else to go. It's got to break up or down and, and wedges break down. I uh, should have seen it coming a little quicker. Sometimes you get lost in the count. You're trying to figure out the count and then uh, Listen, Elliott Wave is not the end-all and be-all um, of uh, trading and uh, cryptocurrency. It's a guide. It's a help. It helps us know where we are in the, uh, in, in this scenario. But sometimes, let me tell you, it's just almost impossible to get a good count uh, on these waves. And this wave right here, oh, golly, that is so hard to count. So so hard. Let me let me show you something really easy to count. Okay, this is this is an easy wave to count right here. Let's just take a peek, just so you understand why it's so easy. We had an A, we had a B, we had a C correction. Your A has one, two, uh, three, four, five waves. The B had one, two, three waves, and now we've got uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five waves for C. Ah, oh, talk about a golden simple wave to count. That was beautiful, and that's a beautiful A B C correction. Um, <laughs> that's not what we have here. Well, we just had this slow and steady race, you know, that just went straight up, and it was just so hard to count. But, but here we are. Let's let's talk about this downward dive here. Um, you know, that screams of uh, manipulation, um, and you know, people are scared of that word, and people say, "Oh, the 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 markets are manipulated." Of course, they are. People with money can do what they want, and uh, if they wanna if they wanna um, manipulate the price by, you know. By big buys and sells, um, they can do it. Uh, that's part of the market. We've got to understand, but that's not. That doesn't mean we didn't have signs telling us that. Uh, just we have to learn how to read those signs better. We have to make sure we have good stop uh, stop loss uh, protection in our trades, uh, so that we're protected from major losses uh, when these kinds of things happen. So, uh, yeah, uh, this was a, a straight dive. Somebody, uh, you know. Uh, 
I, I didn't pull it up, uh, and I don't want to pull up the chart, but uh, if you go to the uh, BTC Shorts chart, uh, somewhere on the second, uh, there was this you know, huge spike in, in shorts, uh, and so, um, you know, that was a telltale sign. Somebody's betting. Somebody's betting big, because uh, it was a huge spike. It was just a gigantic spike in the amount of shorts that were sold on Bitfinex, and uh, that tells you somebody was betting that the, the market's going down. If somebody with that much money on the line is betting it's going down, well, we better bet the same way as well. So, uh, hey, lesson learned. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Bitcoin's heading down. So where are we in the count? Well, where are we going? Everybody wants to know. That's a big question. Are we going down to 5,000? Are we going down to 4,000? You know, uh, you know, nobody really knows, even at this point. You say, hey, Jim, but look at this big thing. You know, uh, shouldn't we be going down to 5,000? Uh, we could be. Uh, but that doesn't mean we are. In fact, what I've learned in cryptocurrency, man, uh, people make moves like this. Big guys make moves to steal your money. Um, you know, they short this thing and get a nice, uh, get a nice. Maybe it comes down here. They get a nice uh, final buy-in, and then they just, you know, they're just going along with it. Who knows? Uh, that could be, or it could be. We could be headed down further. Um, so uh, we don't know what's going to happen. We have to kind of wait and see and find out. Um, it's really, really hard to, to count what's going on with Bitcoin. Uh, I've got two counts, uh, but but really, you know, even the best of traders, um, you know, just they're having a hard time with this count. It's really hard. Uh, most likely what's going on here is uh, a double correction. Uh, you've got... Um, just like in Litecoin, uh, you've got an, an ABC going on there, and then we've got a uh, triangle uh, for the rest of it. So we, we've got a we got a triangle right here. It's boom. Um, to me, that's that's what it looks like. And so when you count a triangle, uh, just I'm a real simple guy. We're gonna go A, B, C, D, E. Um, now, up. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, Actually, sorry, I miscounted that. We have an X wave before the before the triangle, so we've got an A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, there's no doubt we're going up as Bitcoin in the future, but whether we go up right now or not, we're not sure. Um, here's the thing: uh, what we want to be watching for is we know we've got a shift. This could be our upward momentum here, and, and this is just a corrective move. It was just a really sharp one, and and boy, did it scare a bunch of people. It changes sentiment. I think it's so funny how man we were we were up in here, we were going up, we were going up. It is a bull market, yeah. And then all of a sudden, everybody's like, oh no, uh, uh, we're going down. We're going down to four thousand. We're going down to zero. You know, uh, you gotta just watch out those emotional uh, shifts and changes. Just be careful that you don't fall into that. So uh, what could we be doing? Well, we know that uh, after this particular move, there needs to be a corrective pattern. So either either this was a mode of wave one, and we're putting in the two right now, which is certainly a possibility uh, uh, for Bitcoin. So, I mean, it would look something like this. we got a one, uh, and then we're going to have a two wave, and then we're going to go up for three, four, or five, yeah? Yeah. Um, uh, it's not going to look like that. Uh, there you go. It'll look something like that. And that's not proportional. This three will probably be way up here, which would be super exciting. And, uh, yeah, and then the five would, would you know, go on up even even further. So who knows? Uh, yeah, is, is that what's going on? That would be great. I don't know if that's what's going on or not. But here's what I do know needs to happen. That this, If that's what's going on, this correction right here needs to be a 1 and an A, B, C. So when, uh, when we think about Elliott Wave, and part of this uh, this channel is about teaching Elliott Wave and, and, and learning how to count on the fly. Um, so uh, so we've got you know, we've got a, an A wave maybe right there, and we're going to be coming up for a B, and we'll be coming down for a C. Now, who knows if the C will come here or down here but here's what here's the rule this C it can't break uh, this low right here and you'll see uh, we have that line it can't break that low if it breaks the low then that is not an ABC what we um, so that's how we're gonna find out if this is an ABC and we're going up or this low uh, is broken um, so what we want to do is see well where might this come down well, swing low to swing high here um, is uh, put our Fibonacci's on it, and you know we've already come down and touched the seven six uh, seven eight six. Um, so there you go. 
uh, that's a pretty steep correction really quick and that scares a lot of people and that's what makes people think hey we're probably coming down here um, but it's possible we could put in a truncated C it comes down here to the 0.88 or something like that as long as we don't break that low it's still it's still a valid count so that's what we're looking for and a bullish count but what we say Jim what if it's a what if it's a bearish count what are we looking for well if we're going down in a bearish count that means that means what we just put in was some kind of an um, uh, a, B, C, something like that. Uh, that's probably the way it was divided. Um, and so that means we're putting in a new motive wave. Uh, a motive wave is uh, five waves. Um, so, yeah, so basically we're doing this. We're going, oh, putting in a one here, two, three, four kind of retraces back to the one level usually and then a five yeah does that mean we're coming down to four thousand who knows that you know that the waves might be more flat like so which that's tends the way it's been moving lately uh and it's coming down here i'm just drawing it to give you a you know, relative shape you know for what we're looking what we're looking for in the future so uh who knows what it's going to do so there's your there's your bear count there's your uh and, and then i already gave you your bull count uh so that's what we're looking for so the question is what do we do as traders in the meantime well excuse me um well what we do is we look in what we have here um we're looking for uh regardless of whether it's a one two three okay if it's a, if it's a one two three okay that that looks an awful lot like uh, remember this lesson uh, it looks an awful lot like an a b c so one two three a b c uh, doesn't matter uh, what we're putting in we can still trade it so uh, uh, hopefully um, you know who knows if this a wave is completely in so so here's the tricky part uh, in and understanding whether it's in so this if if this is an a uh, it needs to be five waves down, okay? Um, and then uh, B is three and C is uh, C is five. So here's the deal. Uh, a can also be three waves. Well, we have three waves. You've got one, two. I've got in the four-hour chart. You can really see the waves pretty clearly in the four-hour. Let's go to the two-hour, and it might be even more differentiated. There you go. We've got one, two, and three. We came down here for three. So A could be in, but what if it's not in? What if it's a five-wave A? And it's going to come down here a little further. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and it's going to be put in. Uh, down here somewhere um, that's a five wave and if it's that man that's a pretty low uh, correction that is pretty low um, so I'm, I'm thinking you know maybe maybe a is put in already we're going up for B now B should uh, you know B could be really shallow or it could be really steep you really don't know you can kind of go back and see what these other um, you know these other corrections look like um, uh, see when, when we came down here you know you've got an You've got a one, two. Uh, this is a one way, basically one, two, three, four, five, right there. There's there's one uh, and two, and, and this came back up pretty steeply. So is that what we're gonna do? Who knows? Uh, who knows what we're gonna do? Um, but we have to know the possibilities. So we have to really pay attention to what's being formed here, and know the possibilities. Okay. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking at. Uh, so we're gonna basically we just have to kind of wait and see. Um, where this thing retraces to. Um, here's here's the thing. Uh, we're probably, uh, you know, regardless, we're, we're going to go up and then we're going to come back down. Um, so the play is, if you haven't sold, um, oh, we need to talk about this. So we need to talk about, okay, what do you do in a bear market when things are moving down? Well, here, here's the here's the principle for a bear market. When when we're in a bear market, you need to protect your cash. Protect your cash. Um, if you're not trading on a uh, if you're not trading on a uh, on an exchange that allows you to short, uh, then the only way to to play it is to to sell. Uh, your position, unless you're holding, you know, you know, forever. If you hodl mindset, I personally don't have a hodl mindset, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, but uh, you you sell your position and you hold your cash. Uh, you stay all cash because um, the more cash you have, once the price reaches its low, the more money you'll be able to buy at a cheaper price. It'll be on sale, so we don't mind if it goes down. And so uh, some people get scared. Oh, it's going down. Oh, great, it's on sale. 
uh, we can buy it ch more cheaply. So uh, let's just let's just understand. Let's just say I have a thousand dollars up here in cash. It tanks down here. It comes down, and uh, I can now take that thousand dollars and buy buy Bitcoin or Litecoin for a whole heck of a lot cheaper than it was just just yesterday or the day before. Uh, I can buy it cheaper, and so as the price increases, and you can see as we're we're heading up for a correction here, uh, it'll be more. Uh, worth more. Now, if we're doing an A, B, C, you know that we can sell again here at the top of B uh, here, which should be three waves, right? And that's what we're looking at. So you can sell again up here and then come down for C and uh, and then purchase again if that's what we're doing. Now, if we're doing a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's a different story. You're going to hold on a little longer for that, but this is what we're trying to do. Um, so the question is, is uh, is that an ABC 1, 2, 3? We don't know, but it doesn't matter. This this we know is going to be three waves regardless of whether it's a one, two, three or an ABC because uh, remember the B wave is three waves uh, and the uh, two wave in a one, two, three pattern is corrective so we got a one, two, three. That two wave is going to be three waves. Okay, So this is going to be three waves regardless of whether it's ABC, one, two, three. Okay, So let's, uh, let's zoom in and see if we can count three waves. Now remember the three waves uh, is going to be an ABC pattern and it's going to be uh, counted as a 535 or a 335. So it's a 535 or a 335. Say that with me. All right. So uh, the question is, can we? So what I like to do is extend it so I can see the waves accentuated a little bit there. Um, and we can kind of see. All right. So we came down to our low here. This is Bitcoin. And we came up for an A. You see it? A, B, C. We got three waves up for an A. Okay. And then we came down one, two, three waves. Um, you, might, you might even say that's, that's a little A, B, C as well in the B. So there's an A, there's a B, and we're coming up for C. Um, uh, I, I wish I could keep the videos short and teach everything I want to teach, but uh, we're just going to keep going here. So we got an A, B, C working here. Now, the question is, do we have five waves in this C pattern? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for five waves. So let's do a sub count here, see if we can five find waves. Well, there's one obvious one. There's two. See, the two wave is one, two, three. Boom. Now, for this third wave, we need five sub waves. So don't just count. Okay, there's three. Okay, you, you've got to be proportional. And there's got to be five sub waves in the three. So we're going to put our three up here somewhere four, five, something like that. And so then we can count the sub waves. You know, we've got one. Um, oh, that's super hard to count here. Uh, is that is that one, two, and then we're coming up for three, uh, and so that means Bitcoin's really coming up here um, higher, which totally should and could as much as that move was. It needs it needs to come up higher <laughs> for sure. Um, so is that is that a one, two, and then we're coming up three, uh, three, four, five up here somewhere? Um, don't know. Um, really don't know but we're putting in the three and so as the three is made um, as that third wave of the f of the five waves of C is made so that means C is gonna gonna most likely come this way okay um, now uh, if that's wrong and and we've counted it wrong before uh, uh, you you may you may just say okay we got one two three four five and there's the three right there so uh, sometimes uh, this this could be it one two three, four, and now we're putting in the fifth wave. And that's a really uh, strong possibility as well for a count. Um, so is, is it going to be a longer extended wave or is it going to be a short one? We don't know. We have to kind of pay attention to proportionality and what it does along the way. Now, if that is, if this is the count, and this, there is a possibility for that, um, we need five waves within the fifth wave. Okay, and so you can so sometimes we just go down to a smaller count here, and we start to see the littler waves here. So this looks like a one, two, three, four, five. Looks like so we're putting in the fifth wave here, BTC. So BTC has some more up to do. So what does that mean? That means well the count for Litecoin is about the same. Uh, I've got it in the two-hour chart, and we should be looking for an ABC here as well. So we're going to have A, B, C. Looks like we're putting in the C wave just like we are on. BTC. Let's go down to the 15 minute and see if we can count those waves uh, carefully. Um, I like to count them on the fly with you so that um, you can get practice yourself and see how I how we go about doing it. And yeah, it's not a very great uh, job there. That's a little bit better uh, proportionality there. 
Um, mm, not sure. I guess that's the low right there. So there's A, one, two, three. Uh, there's B, and then we've got one. We've got two. Now we're putting in the third, uh, the third wave. I, I really think that we're probably going to be extended here a little bit. It's going to be extended C. So we've got one, two. Uh, this could be three, four, and five, or this could be three, four. We're coming up for five. Uh, gonna play that safe. Uh, not sure which one that is. Uh, it's a tough one because there's really, really small sub waves. But uh, this could be it. So if that's the case, then what we're looking at here, I'm gonna go down to a five minute uh, so I can count those sub waves a little bit better. Um, see if we can crank out those sub waves. Um, you see all this choppy? That's super hard to count right there. But uh, that's that's a see that's an easy ABC. That's so simple to see. Um, actually, right here, this ABC. Hmm, yeah. So we got A, B, C. That's a two wave. That's so simple to see. Um, then we got one, two, one, two, three. That's a one. There's a two. There's a one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that could be. That could be the third wave right there. Um, could totally be the third wave. So we're putting in the fifth wave. Let's let's pretend as if we are putting in the fifth wave. So that means we've got one, two. Oof, that looks like the three has just been put in. Four. We we've got the fifth one to make. Yeah, you know that looks like the best count, the best I can see right now. So that would be my call so right now. One, two. We've just put in the three. We got four, and we're coming up here for five. So we got five waves to make here. So I'll be watching them. Um, no, so when we reach here, it looks like uh, proportionally we're going to be up here somewhere, uh, somewhere between the 59 and the 5950 range, which is fantastic, because I missed my cell uh, around that. I, I was trying to be cute. I was playing a wave the other day, and uh, basically, uh, yeah, I thought the wave, I thought the correction was going to be a little higher. I was going to collect $100 real quick on a quick quick trade and well I didn't make it and I didn't set my stop and, and the market went took off without me so here's the cool thing I I uh, I bought around 5950 50 so I'm hoping to just get out with minimal loss because I believe uh, that we have one more leg to head down because um, if this is a this is B that means we're coming down for C for one more leg that's kind of where I think we are. Um, so that's how we trade it. That's how we look at it. So remember, bear market, you want to protect your cash because uh, by protecting your cash, you've got more money to buy with. Say, you, uh, maybe, maybe, let me just show you why it's good. Even say, maybe you missed your sell. You missed selling. Um, it's still good to sell here at the top of this wave, even if you're taking a loss. And here's why. Because as long as the price goes down and you buy it back cheaper, you have more. You'll have more coins. You'll have accumulated more coins uh, than you would have if you just held. Okay? Um, so um, you got to do the math on that. I'm not going to take the time in the video to do it, but uh, you can do it. So uh, that's where we are. We'll, uh, we'll see what's uh, going on. We just got to wait for the rest of the evening to play out. But it looks like we got five little waves left for a fifth wave. So that's where we are. Well, you guys have a great night. And I'll, uh, hey, listen, if you want to join us in our uh, Facebook group, we have a Light, uh, Litecoin Swing Trading Community. I'd uh, love to join you. The link will be in the description uh, of this video. And uh, come join us. Come join the group. And uh, we'll have free charts and free analysis and we have a lot of fun talking together about what our trades and what's going on. So you join us. Uh, we'd love to have you. All right. Have a great night. Bye-bye.